Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you introduction to database. Once again, I repeat the topic introduction to database. First, let me see the objectives. The objectives are what is a database? What are the components of a database? What is a table? What are the components of a table? What is the relationship? Once again, I repeat the objectives. What is a database? What are the components of a database? What is a table? What are the components of a table? What is the relationship? Let me see one by one. What is a database? A database is an organized collection of data. So what is a database? It is an organized collection of data. So whenever we want to store a huge volume of data, we need a database. So the information is organized in such a way so that it can be retrieved efficiently and fastly. Second, in database, information are organized in such a way that computer program can quickly select a piece of data. So in database, the information are organized, just like in library. Whenever you are in need of a book, you directly get into the track. You can pick the book as you like. Likewise, in database, the information are organized so that the computer can quickly access or retrieve the piece of data as we required. And a database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed, updated and deleted. So what is the meaning of organizing? Organizing meaning arranging the data in an efficient way such a way that it can be accessed. If you want to access the data, it's very easy as well as if you want to manage that is insert update and this operation can be done easily once again i repeat the topic what is a database a database is an organized collection of data the informations are organized in a database the database informations are organized in such a way that computer programs can quickly select the piece of data we can write the computer program in order to fetch or retrieve the data as we like. A database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed and updated and deleted. In the all the above statement, you can able to find a repeated statement. What is it? A database is an organized information, right? So whenever anybody asks you what is a database, you can say a database is an organized information or organized collection of data. And next we are going to see some typical example for database applications or inventory, payroll, membership, orders, shipping, reservation, invoicing, accounting, security, catalogs, mailing and medical records. These are some of the typical example for database application and next we are going to see what are the components of database anyway we are going to use access so i made this component of database regarding access in access database consists of several different components each component listed is called an object the first one is table. What is a table? Table or where the actual data is defined and entered. So where you are going to store the data, so we are going to store all the information only in a form of table. What table consists of? Table consists of records, that is rows, and fields, that is column. And queries. What is a query? A query are basically questions about the data in a database. How you need, what you need, do you have any logic to retrieve the data? Everything will be defined by queries. A query consists of specification including which fields, records and summaries you want to see from a database using queries. So once again I repeat, so what is a table? So table is a place where we are going to store the actual data. What table consists of? Table consists of 
records that is rows and fields that is column so what is a query so a query basically defines the operation about the data in a database what you need do you need any specific field do you need the summary you can query it you can request it from the database using queries and next one is forms forms are designed to easy the data entry process in case of database we need the front end the database is called as a back end where it will store the data so in order to enter in order to manage the data we are in need of forms and next one is reports when you want to print records from your database you want to design a report so how you need the data what data you need do you need any comparisons if you ask this sort of questions the report is the answer you can write a report as you like to fetch or retrieve the data from a database and pages in a data access page is a special type of a web page designed for viewing and working with data from internet or an intranet right pages you can use to access the database in terms of internet or intranet once again i repeat what is a forms we can use the forms or forms are designed to access the database or to enter the data in an easy manner to easily manages the data to enter the data we are in need of forms and report the reports are used to generate reports as we like and pages are used to access the database over the internet or an intranet The next one is macros. What is a macro? A macro is a set of one or more actions that each perform on a particular operations such as opening a form or printing a report. Macros can help you to automate common tasks. For example, you can run a macro that prints a report when user clicks a command button. The macros you can able to define a specific task by writing the programs or macros we used to say macros and modules a module is a collection of visual basic for application declaration and procedure that are stored together as a unit you can write modules you can use all visual basic codes in order to retrieve in order to manage the data in the database and next one what is a table as we discussed this table or the basic unit of storage in a database The tables are the foundation of access database. If you want to store any information, you need a table. Without table, you cannot store any information in any database. A table is a set of columns and rows. Okay, what is a table and what it consists of? A table consists of rows and columns. It's a rows and columns. and within a table each field must be given a name and no two fields can have the same name once again i repeat the sentence what is a table a table is a fundamental access or storage in a database what table consists of a table consists of a set of columns and rows so each column is called a field right each column is called a field so within a table each column must be given a name right each column should have a name and no two fields can have the same name it is impossible you cannot use the same name for two columns and what is a relation in relational database the flat file is database a table is a set of data elements values using a model of vertical columns and horizontal rows the cell being the unit where the rows and column intersect so in case of relational database the flat file is a table right without table you cannot able to store the informations so what a table consists of it consists of rows and columns so columns we used to say fields and rows we used to say records so here you can able to see so these are the columns 
and these are the rows a table consists of rows and columns and what is a cell the cell is the intersection point of a row and a column now we are going to discuss about the components of a table first we are going to discuss what is a record data is stored in a record a record is composed of fields and contain all data about one particular person or a company or items in a database so what is a record a record is nothing but a uh, information about a particular person a company or an item and what is a field a field is an area within a record reserved for a specific piece of data so we can able to see database a tables and followed by records records will be having fields okay so we can able to see database or file so record 1 and record 2 and where it will be having fields and where fields used to store data once again i repeat so where you can have a file let us say database which will be having tables this is a table and these are records and record consists of fields and field consists of datas and what is the relationship a relationship exists between two tables or database tables where one table has a foreign key that refers to the primary key of another table so in order to retrieve the datas between the multiple tables we are in need of relationship without relationship it is very difficult to retrieve the datas between the tables a relationship in the context of database is a situation that exists between two relational database tables where one table has a foreign key that refers to the primary key of another table the relationship allows relational database to split and store the data in different tables while linking disparate data items in order to relate the tables in order to retrieve the information from different tables in order to split the storage of information between the tables we are in need of relationship so now we are going to discuss about keys keys are used to establish relationship between the tables so database key a database key is an attribute utilized to sort and identify data in some manner what is a database key a database key is an attribute this is a property what is the use of this property used to sort or identify the data in some criteria or in some manner what is a primary key a primary key is a unique identifier for a database record when a table is created one of the field is typically assigned as a primary key so what is a primary key it's an unique identifier so to in order to retrieve an in information efficiently we are in need of primary key the next one is foreign key a foreign key is in column or a group of column in a relation database table that provides a link between data in two tables in a act as a cross reference between tables because it reference the primary key of an as a table right so a foreign key is a column or a group of column in a relation database that provides a link between data in two tables all right so the foreign key refers to our primary keys which are located in other tables by using this relationship we can able to retrieve the information efficiently next one is an candidate key the candidate key is a column or a set of columns in a table that can be uniquely identified any database records without referring to any other data right it's a candidate as a multiple key it is used to retrieve a data efficiently without depending on other keys each table may have one or more candidate keys but one candidate key is special and it is called as the primary key a table may have any number of key but it should have a special key called as primary key so this are this are the basic terminologies we used in terms of databases i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you